Hi viewers, welcome to this session on calculation of alpha and beta by using regression method. Problem is given for the ONGC stock and the NSE index for the 12 months. The monthly returns of data in percent for ONGC stock and the NSE index for a 12 month period are presented below. Months 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 12 months that is from January to December has given. The ONGC stock returns is given in the percentage minus 0 0.75, 5.45, minus 3.05, 3.14, 9.13, 2.15, 2.15. Like that up to 12 months. In the same manner for NSC national index also is given in the returns minus 0 0.35, minus 0 0.49, minus 1.03, 1.64, 6.67, 1.13, 0 0.72. Like that up to 12 months they have given for us. Calculate alpha and beta. For the ONGC stock, that is the first question. We are supposed to calculate alpha and beta for ONGC stock by using regression method. Suppose NSE index is expected to move by 15% in the next month. How much return would you expect from ONGC? So, in the second case, what they are asking is uh, the NSE index is expected to move by 15%. For the in the next month, if that is the case, then how much return would be would you expect from the ONGC? These are the two questions. Here in this problem, they ask us to calculate even alpha also. Alpha and beta are constants. These are to be both are to be calculated by using the regression method. Uh, for finding out the alpha. It is difficult and it is not possible by, by following the correlation coefficient method. Hence, we need to follow regression method OD. Now, we will start solving the problem. So, if we observe here the calculation of alpha and beta by using regression method, ONGC returns, this ONGC returns are indicated with Y, that is RI. RI is nothing but returns of the stock and NSC index return is indicated with X that is also indicated with market returns simple form RM market returns and the returns of Y as well as returns of market return that is NSC index is represented over here for the 12 months from January to December. These are the values which we have extracted from the given problem. And now we are considering this ONGC returns as Y. So we are need to add all these returns to find out the sigma Y. Sigma Y is nothing but summation of Y. Summation of Y means the total of Y. The total of Y is becomes 25.32. In the same manner, we are doing it for the x, summation of x or sigma x, you can say both manner, sigma x or summation of x. Summation of x means nothing but total of x that is equals to 12.72 and x square, x square means x into x minus 0 0.35 into minus 0 0.35 that is equals to 0 0.12 in the same manner minus 0 0.0 0 0.49 into 0 0.49 that is equals to 0.24 minus 1.03 into minus 1.03 that is 1.06 x square. So like this for the 12 months that is 72.89 uh, sigma x square or summation of x square is equals to 72.89 
एक्स वाई जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स पॉइंट माइनस टू पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन हाउ डू यू गेट दिस वैल्यू बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग दी एक्स इनटू वाई दैट इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड विथ माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव वी विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स इन द सेम मैनर फॉर द ट्वेल्व मंथ्स वी नीड टू multiply x value into y value so that we are getting the products of x and y for the first month to up to 12 months and after finding out the products of x into y for the 12 months we have to add all these values that is showing with summation of xy is equals to 107.55 after finding out the values of summation of y summation of x summation of x square summation of xy we have to take these values and use the formula for finding out the alpha and beta by using the regression method for finding the beta we have to observe the theory background behind the formula which is used for calculation of beta under regression method where y is equals to dependent variable whatever we have taken it ongc stock returns is y dependent variable x is independent variable in our problem x is nsc stock returns y is ongc stock returns and alpha and beta are constants the formula used to calculate the alpha and beta are alpha is equals to y bar plus beta x bar beta is equals to n into summation of xy minus summation of x into summation of y four divided by n into summation of x square minus summation of x four square where n is equals to number of items that is 12 months y bar is equals to mean value of the dependent variable score mean value that means y bar we need to find out based upon the summation of y x bar is equals to mean value of the independent variable scores y is equals to dependent variable scores x is equals to independent variable scores this y bar x bar y x all these values have been finding out based upon the values which we have calculated in the table the last slide the values from the from this table we will taken for the purpose of calculation of beta so 25.32 12.72 72.89 107.55. These four values are going to be taken. Now, if we observe summation of y is equals to 25.32, summation of x is equals to 12.72, summation of x square is equals to 72.82, summation of xy is equals to 107.55. Now, interpreting these values into this formula. beta is equals to n into sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y whole divided by n into sigma x square minus sigma x whole square that is equals to 12 into 107.55 minus 12 into 72 bracket out 25.32 whole divided by 12 into 72.82 sigma x whole square Minus sigma x is nothing but 12.72, 12.72 whole square. And for for calculating this value, we have to use the calculator. When we are using the calculator, first what we need to do is we have to see the values. What is the value which is there? Twelve into twelve into one hundred seven point five five 
is equals to 1290.6 here it is written 1290.6 is written over here like this so we have to calculate after value after after clearing this value what we have to do is we have to multiply with 12.72 12.72 multiplied with 25.32 that is equals to 322.07 322.07 here we can observe this 322.07 now what we can do is we have to 12 into 12 into 72.82 you can observe 873.84 that is a nearly 874.68 minus 12.72 12.72 whole square that means 12.72 into 12.72 that is equals to 161.798 so that is considered as 161.80 after doing it what we need to do is 1290.60 minus 322.07 that is equals to 968.53 968.53 we can see over here 962.68 53 the same manner we will get the 874.68 minus 161.80 we will get 712.88 now we will divide 968.53 divided by 712.88 is equals to 1.3586 so uh, rounded to the next value that is 1.359 the beta value is 1.39 beta value is 1.359 this is the beta value after interpreting all this sigma y summation of x summation of x square summation of x y values interpreting into the formula finally we will get the beta 1.359 alpha is equals to y bar minus beta x bar alpha is equals to y bar minus beta x bar first we have to find out the y bar y bar is nothing but summation of y divided by n summation of y is 25.32 whole divided by 12 that is equals to 2.11 2.11 that is called as y bar next x bar is equals to x bar is summation of x divided by n summation of x is 12.72 12.72 whole divided by n is equals to that is equals to 1.06 that is x bar after finding out the y bar and x bar we have to interpret the y bar x bar values into the alpha formula what is the alpha formula alpha formula is y bar minus beta x bar now alpha is equals to 2.111 minus 1.359 multiplied with 1.06 now we will use the calculator where is the calculator calculator for finding out the alpha value after finding out y bar and x bar what we have to do is we have to use the alpha formula alpha formula y bar we know 2.11 and another value is 1.359 multiplied with 1.06 that is equals to this is the value 1.359 multiplied with 1.06 minus 2.11 so we will get 
minus 0 0.669. Here what we have done, we have deducted the high value into the low value, that is the reason why we got the minus value. Exactly what we have to do is, we have to uh, subtract uh, this value from this value so that we will get 0 0.669. So rounding out this figure, rounding out this figure, if you want you can check once again 2.111 minus minus 1.044059 is equals to 1.0659 that is 0, 0, uh, 6, 0, 6, 6. so we will get the alpha value 2.111 minus 1.044 so 1.044 so that is wrong 1.2.111 minus 1.44 is equals to 0 0.67 this is the alpha value after getting the alpha value we got the beta value, beta is indicating with risk, beta is indicating with risk, which risk, systematic risk, that is not total risk, total risk is indicated through standard deviation, but in this problem we have not calculated the standard deviation, we have not calculated the total risk, we have to calculate it directly systematic risk only, after finding out the systematic risk, we have found the alpha value, what is the purpose of finding out the alpha value is, it is supporting us either to buy the share or not to buy the share or to sell the share. What to be done by the investor, that is to be taken decision based upon the alpha value. Alpha value pramukhyate emi ante, alpha neta to ante di lekkin chan tarvata, alpha positive hai te, our stock ni one money sell high bottom zero to alpha is positive to buy stock to buy the same stock alpha is negative alpha is negative to sell stock alpha is zero alpha is zero not to buy or Sell. Maintain status quo. This is the interpretation for the alpha value. So here in this problem the alpha value is 0 0.67. So that is nothing but uh, that is that means it's a positive value. It is better to buy the stock. Now in the problem what they have given in the second point if the market is expected to grow 15% in the next month what would be your suggestion to buy the uh, to buy or not to buy the stock it is very simple because alpha is positive as per the alpha value we can suggest them to buy the stock even though we will interpret the value of the 15% into the given problem so that we can ha have a numerical value quantitative value in our hand based on that we can take a decision here, the expected return of ONGC stock when NSC moves 15%. If the NSC moves in the next one for 15% growth, then what is going to be the expected return on ONGC stock? Formula for this, return RI. RI is nothing but indicated with Y. RI is nothing but Y and also it means uh, stock returns which stock returns ongc stock returns is indicated with ri if the market moves 15 percent what is the expected rate of ongc that's what we need to find out for this purpose the formula for this is alpha plus beta rm rm is a given in the problem ri is equals to 0.67 this is alpha value which we have calculated this is beta value beta value also we have calculated bracket of 1.359 multiplied with 15 percent 
we will get 20.385 after multiplying 15 into 1.359 plus 0.67 totally put together 21.055 if we observe if the market moves that is the nsc market moves towards the increasing trend 15 percent this this is going to increase 21.055 which one 21.055 ongc stock will increase 21.055 if nsc moves 15 percent if that is the case it is suggestible to buy the ongc stock for this purpose we are calculating alpha and beta values if we want to find out such type of calculations of alpha and beta value we are supposed to follow the regression method thank you thank you for watching this video